Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the date commencing for March 2nd, 2022. Let's go ahead and dive into the reading, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Let's see here. Power of number 12. You could be dealing straight up with a Pisces. And yes, we are in Piscean season. We could see the Hanged Man card kick in. However, with the power of number 12, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn throughout the month of December. Power of number 5. We could see the Hierophant and or Five of Cups, Five of Wands and or Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini throughout the month of May. Power of number two. You can see the High Priestess card. I'm picking up on the Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Two of Cups. And the High Priestess. You may find, Scorpio, that during this Piscean season that your dreams are going to become a little bit more prevalent, a little bit more intense. You might end up dreaming a little bit more about your specific person, or you're going to get premonitions or spiritual downloads during this time because planet Neptune energy is activated. It is the planet of basically intuition, dreams, etc. Pisces has a very dreamy like energy, but it's also about intuition. So you could also feel a little extra emotional during this time frame right now. So keeping your emotions in check, evaluate, is it really coming from you or is it coming from somebody else? You know, sometimes we feel like we would just want to break down and cry. Is it really us? Is it a family member that you're picking up on? Is it your specific person, etc.? Okay, so intuition is going to be heightened. You may also want to consider a few times out of the day listening to a guided meditation to open up your third eye and or your crown chakra. You may also want to work with more blue and or purple colored gemstones such as amethyst, sugalite, sodalite, lapis, blue agate. You may want to consider working with those particular gemstones. Looks like we're going to the number 19. That would be in representation of the sun card. We could also see the justice card show up, possibly also too. The Hermit card mm. could be dealing with a Virgo and or a Libra throughout the month of September. Picking up a strong Virgo born on <clears throat> September 4th. I'm picking up also September 15th. Very strongly. September 10th. August 28th. August 25th. We may see the Justice card. So Libra, you could be dealing with the Libra. Picking up on October 13th. October 7th. September 29th. We could also see the Devil card. Sign of Capricorn. be dealing with the Capricorn born on January 15th. I'm also picking up January 8th, January 2nd, December 28th, a 
Leo energy. July 23rd. Picking up on the 27th. August 1st. August 11th. August 18th. August 20th. Okay. <clears throat> Something about August 15th too for the for that Leo. Okay. Power of number 19. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. In 19, okay. Trust in the ancestors of my Scorpio viewers. And my Scorpio subscribers. What is going on? How is Scorpio's in person? What are their plans? What are their current plans towards Scorpio right now? Since we're moving into this new moon in the sign of Pisces, what are their current plans towards Scorpio? Okay. We have the star card. Sign of Aquarius energy going on. Okay, just daydreaming about this. <clears throat> I technically saw it come up in the reverse. I'm feeling this energy is in both directions. I'm going to put it sideways because I feel like they are not reconciling or trying to make things work out with any form of third party situations. But I also feel that because they've been doing a lot of heavy, like heavily spying in on you, possibly seeking out information, Scorpio. Picking up on the word intimidation. I think this person knows that you're going to rise to success. I just heard the song from the uh, group The Weeknd. I can feel it coming or I feel it coming. If that's the title of the song. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. This person, if you guys are an entrepreneur right now and you have a product or something that you are getting ready to push out there into the ethers, push out there on the market, you're working out, you're looking good, you're getting photo shoots done, whatever the case may be, you're going to find a way here. Scorpio, this person feels like... I just heard the phrase, too good to be true, but part of that is past tense when they first met you. I can just keep hearing this song in my mind. I can feel it coming. I feel it coming. I don't know all of the lyrics. Probably some of you guys do. I can feel it coming. They see, I think they are visualizing also too where your success is really truly going to head. I will tell you this, they will be in massive major regret when you guys get to that level of success where the money's coming in exactly the way you want it to come in, Scorpio.
this person deep down inside is going to be like, damn, I really effed up. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Even if they're still with the third party, they're going to be thinking this. Because if you guys are really, truly focused in on your success. I just heard Spirit say some of you guys may end up with a celebrity. Mm -hmm. That's not far-fetched, you guys. It's a small world. It's a small world. Some of you are meant to be, yes, in the spotlight, have your books produced, become a successful author. author. I'm picking up New York uh, bestseller times, whatever, New York Times bestseller. I think that's how I want to say it, right? Mm-hmm. Hearing something about Penguin Publishing, Simon & Schuster Publishing, Those of you who live out in England, I'm getting this vision. Somebody's walking into some kind of like a, I don't, I don't know what they, if they call the title differently in the United Kingdom, but some of you who are writers out there in England, agent. I'm picking up a white building. I can't tell if this door is red or if it's gray. It's going back and forth. But there's like a, something like a black hand railing. And it's a little damp on the ground. So I can't tell if this is like the month of April. Picking up on April or May. But mostly April. April was my first impression. Somebody had a trench coat on. Picking up futuristic. Futuristic action. Somebody's hustling because I could hear somebody's... Um, this is more specifically I'm hearing a woman. I, I could hear the, um, the high heels clicking up against the sidewalk or if it's I don't know if the if the road itself is cobble if there are still cobble roads in England but I heard the sound I all I can hear is the sound of somebody's high heels the back of somebody's heels walking really fast to get to their appointment But anyway, this person, this person is going to see you rise to the top. Some of them are not going to know what to do with themselves. But at that point in time, Scorpio, they may, you may be so far off for some of you guys in your own world that when this person comes towards you you're not you're not going to have the same triggering effects you're not because you're going to be in a different place emotionally because of your success for some of you guys Let me see why I'm feeling the star card in both directions here. This person, the action that they're going to take. Yes, some, a lot of them are going to come forward towards you. They're making their plans. They're strategizing. They're trying to figure out what the storyline is going to be. 
when the two of you get back together, what kind of storyline they're going to make up to tell other people. Because, again, they want to fly under the radar in regards to this connection that they're going to have with you again. Some of you guys, I'm picking up that this, you know, you might not have technically dated this person. This could have been a lover that you were heavily interested in that you could have went out on dates with. You might have really wanted to be with this person, but they ended up choosing somebody else over you. And maybe over the years you went off, lived your life, and maybe... You became friends with this person on social media. And ironically, it could very well be true that this lover slash potential boyfriend and or girlfriend might have became your friend on social media, but you've seen over the years, because maybe there was just a breaking point where you just kind of lost all feelings for this person, but you just considered them a friend. However, that person watches you heavily. And maybe you've seen this person go through relationship after relationship. And maybe you've had your, you know, your slew of relationships in between Scorpio. But I, some of you are picking back up an attraction for this person. This person that you know that I'm describing, that's the lover, you, like, the passion and the sex was so intense, like, I'm not saying you haven't had great sex since then, Scorpio, but this particular person, for some of you guys, that I'm picking up on, like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing the song in my head, Lou Rawls, uh, You'll Never Find Another Love Like Mine. I'm, I'm hearing that. Mm. <laughs> but this person is still very much attracted to you. And I think that they are kicking themselves because maybe they didn't realize that you were going to become the person that you were going to become Scorpio, meaning... Maybe you went out there and started traveling. Maybe you got some life experiences or whatever the case may be. But <clears throat> this person admires you. They Now it's like they're second guessing themselves. This particular person that was a lover. <clears throat> they're second guessing themselves because they don't want to be with this person that they're with. And they're desiring you, surprisingly enough. And you could be wondering when this person is going to, like, leave this karmic's ass. Because some of these karmics that they've dealt with are druggies. They're druggies. Because this person might have spoiled them a little bit too much. So they had excess money. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Why is Scorpio's person viewing them or what actions are they going to take? Why, what is it in regards? They, they want to reconcile, but they could be a fearful or they're intimidated. What's going on here? <sighs> it is judgment. Which means the Five of Cups and or possibly the Five, or I'm sorry, the Page of Cups could end up following suit. Okay. I think this person has had a wake-up call, but they may not be having a wake-up call to a particular situation outside of you, Scorpio. But I'm feeling more strongly that this is, this is in the upright.
Message from judgment. Yeah, there's that five of pentacles. Okay. So what actions are they going to take? They will come forward because their ass is going to get kicked to the curb or they are going to abandon whoever they're with right now because a lot of them are making plans to reach out to you. Some of them in the next two weeks. Message from the star card. What? Give me another message here, trusted ancestors, how this person is going to take action. Because the star card could bring in reconciliation. A lot of you guys are taking your spiritual cleansing baths. Okay. Okay. Something, again, about walking away. They're not walking away towards you, Scorpio. No. No, this is them... Okay, what I'm hearing from Spirit, because I saw that judgment card, it kind of, it came up in the reverse, but I was feeling it in the upright, etc. At one point in time, they didn't learn their lesson in regards to the karmic, so they decided to stay and stick with the karmic, or the karmic situation. Now the horn is blowing, Archangel Gabriel, Gabriel come blow your horn, right? Five of Pentacles, walking away, feeling rejected. They're, they're going to the star. That's what they're doing. They're headed towards the star. <coughs> I sneezed <coughs> twice. That's confirmation. They're headed towards the star, which is you. They are, I, they are nervous. I'm picking up nervousness. I am picking up nervousness. I think they're very fearful that you're going to reject them. Oh, yeah. What goes around comes around. This is about karma. Karma can also come through the judgment card. Wheel of Fortune. But power of number 19, which we shuffled the deck to, which is the sign of Leo for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys are dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or another Scorpio, such as yourself. Okay. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, the Emperor, the Devil. Picking up on a cousin. Picking up on a negative, toxic cousin that does not care for your person. Or they're jealous. Ooh. This cousin is going to be, I'm picking it up again strongly, that there's a cousin that is going to be very highly jealous of you dating their cousin again or being back together in general because this cousin wants to have sex with you. That's what I'm picking up. What are they walking away from? Okay, some of them could be walking away from another Scorpio. But they're walking away from whatever came to an end. Something has come to an end in their environment of something. And they're walking away from it. They're headed towards the star. How are they going to approach Scorpio? They could be approaching you during some form of a full moon cycle, which would be uh, a waxing moon phase, or I'm also picking up the waning moon. So a lot of times I pick up the waning moon energy, but I saw it, this come up very strongly in the upright. So it could be when we are headed towards the full moon in the sign of Virgo that this person, for some of you guys, is going to come forward very strongly. They, they've been releasing battles. Or uphill burdens. Yeah. End of a cycle. And a different end of a cycle. But in a more positive direction. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you are their wish fulfillment. They want to move forward. The Chariot. Sign of Leo. Sign of Cancerian Energy. King of Pentacles. Some love. You guys are dealing with them. Earth signs. Taurus. Virgo. Capricorn. This person's had enough time to think things over. Yes, they are intimidated by your shining light. 
I don't think this person expected you, Scorpio, to, we'll say outshine them all. They didn't expect you to become more attractive or not like they didn't think you were attractive before, but I, I'm talking being at your peak. A lot of you guys are focusing, working towards your peak. They didn't expect your body to get all chiseled and six pack abs for some of you guys. You know, they didn't, they didn't see this coming. They didn't see the major change or transformation because at that point in time, that's how small minded that they were. And a lot of you guys are going to become very rich and very successful and some of you guys may end up with a celebrity down the road. It's like I said, it's not far fetched. But these people from the past that you have dealt with, this person, at that moment in time, they didn't recognize you. They didn't recognize your value. They didn't jump on the A team. They didn't they didn't take affirmative action. But it looks like that is going to change. Yes, they're intimidated by you because you're not anything. You're a different, you're a different package now. Okay. So instead of being the package that gets shipped first class mail, no, it's you're going Amazon Prime. Okay. All right. You're I'm just saying. You have advanced in such a way, Scorpio, that this person. You're walking different, talking different. You could be wearing your hairstyle different. Um, a lot of you guys decided to go work out the gym. Like I said, this person's noticing things about you or they're hearing through the grapevine what is going on with you. Some of them could have even found out where you live. Maybe you never told this person that you moved for some of you. I do feel that they found out where you live through other people. But there is a major change. There's a major judgment call going on here. And they are gearing up to walk away from something in particular. Because your energy, as long as you keep working in on yourself, your energy is attracting this person to come forward unto you. So what actions are they going to take? They're going to head towards you. It's taken them a while. It's taken them a while. But... They're, they're curious. They're in this curious mode right now on how to handle you, how to approach you, what to say to you, because it's like your, your energy is escalating a little bit at a time, Scorpio. So thank you so much, my beautiful Scorpios, for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, my beautiful Scorpios. Take care.